Hey guys, this is Sarah, and today I'm here to do my first Dollar Tree haul with my little sister Becky. She's yeah. gonna help show you stuff that we got at our local Dollar Tree, and we're starting with beauty items and then miscellaneous household items. Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> household items and then food items. First we have, I had seen somebody else do a Dollar Tree haul on these and I thought they were super cute and wanted to give them a try because of course don't really have the money to spend $35 on nails. So I got a set, of two different sets. I got this set of cheetah print nails and I just thought they were super cute and I got this set. They're different colors kind of designed with just little waves and stuff. I thought those were super cute. And of course, when you do nails, you have to have glue, which I had bought some. And the cool thing about the Sassy and Chic nail glue is that it comes with a glue stand and a funnel. So you don't have to worry about whether your glue is going to fall over and all that sort of thing. So that's really helpful. Next, I also got some free nail polish remover because I don't like keeping the same nail polish on for too long and mine seems to last during World War III. If it ever happens, I wouldn't have to worry. So I had to get some of that. And then next we have a hairbrush. It's got a nice grip to it. It's a styling brush, basic solutions, it's blue. They had different color ones, cheetah prints, everything. I thought that was really neat. And then this is a pedicure set. Yeah, four-way pedicure set it's got the little rough patch you've it's yeah it's, it's got the... a little grater that helps get dead skin off which is really disgusting and <laughs> a brush so I thought that was super neat we got some tea tree mint shampoo which actually makes your hair feel awesome I've not had this brand I've had a different brand it smells great and does wonders for your hair so I just wanted to give that a try. This is a uh, breathing drops. They're really good for like when you have really stinky breath. I'm telling you, I have that all the time. <laughs> and uh, I I got this because I used to have them whenever I was younger. We used to have them, didn't we? Yeah, we used to use them a lot. They they taste good. They're really strong. They're better. They're they're better than mouthwash. Yeah, to be honest. And you it's. You can just swallow it, like... It burns, but you can. It, yeah. <laughs> just like mouthwash, so... Then next, we actually... My grandmother had bought us some of this. Me and my fiancé for our Christmas present. She also got us laundry basket and other household items. But this stuff, it's totally... LA's totally awesome 2-in-1 laundry detergent plus fabric softener. Smells great. Doesn't break your skin out and makes your your clothes really really soft love this stuff and it's the only kind I will use and we always get the fresh scent one because any other one kind of has a weird smell it's, to it it smells really good and it's a dollar one dollar <laughs> and these were actually a dollar which of course laundry uh, laundry detergent and dryer sheets are usually more expensive at Walmart other stores like that these are breezy they're fresh linen scented and they have 55 in them, so we thought we'd give that a try and see how well it works. It's supposed to have iron ease. It's supposed to make your clothes not so crinkled and everything. And it smells really good. <laughs> this is something that I wanted. I, it's just a zombie little thing. You just put it in water, leave it for a couple of days, and then it's just supposed to be big. I'm into zombies, as you can tell. This is shirt and uh and it apparently doesn't yeah glow in the dark so i just i love it i, I just just <laughs> and then next i had seen these and thought they were super neat they're by the ink brand they're fruit scented gel ink pens not sure how well they're gonna write which actually let me get a piece of paper and i'll swatch one i got some paper oh, right here yeah, just get that um, we'll see how well this works. I'm not going to show anybody's dresses, but I'm doing the purple one. It smells just like grapes. And it, it works great. It's actually really smooth writing. It's really dark and it doesn't, it, it doesn't show up like 
all blotchy and everything. Okay. Covered it. And then next we have permanent markers, which I will swatch these two. They're by Jot. Um, J O T. I thought these were super neat. I've never seen permanent markers in a felt tip pen. So I figured I'd try and see how well they work. I love writing, love doing journals. She just calendars. Oh, they work great. They're really smooth, nice color, not real, real blotchy or anything. So they'll show up real great too. Well, I got this. It's for like a, it's like a keychain type of thing. Mm -hmm. I just, Lanyard. yeah. Well, anyways, I got this because my other one broke, and this one, this one's a lot, st a lot durable, and I like, I, I just like the color of it. It's just, yeah, it's got like metallic uh, notes to it. It's, it's got metallic in between it. It's really pretty. Yeah, I like it. Next, we've got some other miscellaneous items. I absolutely am obsessed with SpongeBob, of course. And this was a really good deal. It has over 270 stickers in it, just personalized. I'm not too big on metallic stickers, but thankfully these are not metallic stickers. They are regular stickers. They have some smaller ones, some circled ones. They're just super cute. They've got sayings on them and rainbows. Just super cute all around. And then next, I have actually seen a few other people on YouTube actually haul these. These were the last two that were in our store, and it was a blue and orange one. It's a fruit infuser tumbler. The, you take out the cup, and you put your fruit in it. You put some water in the cup, and it's supposed to make your water taste like whatever fruit you put in it. I just thought these were super neat and was super excited to get them, and luckily we got the last two at our store. Next, we got some Tropical Cool Pops and Summer Punch Mango Berry Punch Wild Berry Pineapple Tropical Punch Banana and Citrus Punch. It comes with 20 freezer pops and they're only 20 calories per each, which of course, if you're like me, counting calories, it's one of the big things to look at, but we thought we'd give these a try. Who doesn't like ice pops or anything like that? Next. I am a big fan of fruit and grain bars, and I always get the Walmart ones. They're usually about four or five bucks, depending on which ones I get. These are by Mrs. Miserous Freshly's, and they were only a dollar. And they're, I got the mixed fruit. Um, hopefully, these are really good because I get upset when there's like dried jelly in them instead of like actual jelly. So I'm hoping these aren't dried and really good. So I could keep getting them for a dollar. And next, she's got an item. Uh, Cracker Jacks. These are, of course, delicious. I got them because, of course, they have a little prize inside. But, of course, usually they're not, like, anything special. But, anyways, I got it because it reminds me of my childhood. And I just figured... Why not go back to those old times? Um, I got these. I love Malto Mill cereal. I love their Marshmallow Mateys. I'm excited to give these a try. I've had them in a bag, but I can't remember like exactly whether I liked them or not. So I wanted to give these a try again. They're just like Honey Nut Cheerios, but the good thing is, is this brand is a dollar. Like... You can't go wrong with cereal for a dollar, especially a box when a box at Walmart is about three, four bucks. You could get this for a dollar and who knows, maybe it'll taste the same. I just, I really love cereal and I'm just really wanting to give this a try. And then I got this because I love Chef Boyardee. Not big fan of pasta or anything with noodles or anything, but Chef Boyardee is one of the only things I'll eat that actually has some form of pasta in it. And I just wanted something to eat if I got hungry at night or something. Really didn't want to have to cook anything. Just got this. It's super easy to heat up. And then these are the little 
boxes of Yoohoo's. Uh, they have three of them for a dollar, which isn't bad. Um, we was this the last one that they had? I'm not sure. I think so. I believe this is the last one they had at the store. Um, Yoohoo's are expensive at Walmart. The, oh, these yeah. uh, Yoohoo's are definitely expensive at Walmart. So I was super excited to see the three pack for a dollar. So. Really wanted to try those. And then we needed some salt and pepper shakers, which we found some. They didn't have any ground salt or ground pepper. So we found these. These were a dollar each. They have the grinder built into them, and you just grind your own pepper to put on your food. And we also got sea salt because sea salt's better for you than regular salt. And we just wanted to really try these, see how well they work. If they work, awesome. If not, I mean, you didn't really lose anything. They're a dollar. So, really wanting to try these on something to see how well they taste. And I got some Chico Sticks for a dollar. I love Chico Sticks. I'm not a big fan of coconut or anything that has coconut on it. But I did get these because I ate these as a kid. My stepdad used to get them all the time. I ate these as a kid and I absolutely love these. And I love the fact that they have crunchy peanut butter. Absolutely love crunchy peanut butter. It's the best. The next I got me some original Mary Jane's made with molasses and real peanut butter. Like I had said about the Chico sticks, I love peanut butter. And I absolutely love these. The molasses and the peanut butter together taste amazing. Now those are actually the only things that have peanut butter in it that I'll actually eat. No she doubt. actually hates peanut butter. She is the opposite of me in every way. She hates peanut butter. She hates pickles. But you can't get her to eat a Reese cup. But if I could get her to eat one of these, pretty amazing. Next, we have these cookies. And these remind me so much of when I was younger and you have those tins that have cookies like this in it but you always open it and it's not the cookies it's actually like thumbnails or sewing products which really upsets you my fiance loves these also um so she wanted to get these they're butter flavored cookies they're super cute I love how they have little designs and everything I just really wanted these because I haven't had them in years been a while. Next, pork skins. Pork skins can actually get expensive depending on which brand you get. And what um, flavor. And what flavor. That does have a big factor on it. These I got from the Dollar Tree. They're Turkey Creek Snacks, which this is a really good brand. They're usually fresher than any other brand I've ever had. But these are the Old Fashioned Pork Skins. Um, they're the original flavor. They didn't have barbecue or anything like that, but I'm okay with the original. And they're not super high in calories, which is amazing because, like I said, I'm watching mine. And these were only a dollar, so I wasn't going to pass on them with them only being a dollar and being really good brand. Next, we have animal crackers. Of course, at Walmart, they're more expensive than here. They were only a dollar. And these were the original ones. They had the iced ones, but I don't like icing on any of my cookies or cupcakes or anything. So I really didn't want icing ones. And these are not super high in calories. They're low fat, zero grams of trans fat, zero milligrams of cholesterol, and... 13 crackers are only 100 calories, which isn't terrible compared to chips. Certain chips you get have 120 calories and like 8 chips. That's not worth eating if you're getting 130 and 8. So, I figured I'd get a bag of these. I haven't had them in a while. They're a great snack, especially if you're on the go and you just want something real, you want something sweet, but you're wanting to take it with you. These are great. Next item, we did... My fiance had bought these, but we had already broke into them to try them because we had seen these in so many Dollar Tree hauls. We got the barbecue, the cheddar, and the garlic. Um, they're really good. I have super sensitive teeth, so I don't really eat much of them because of the fact that they are a chip. They're a bagel chip. They're really hard, but they, they have great taste. They're just amazing, and I absolutely love them. 
are pretty good. Yeah, they are. Next, we are getting married in October and our wedding is Willy Wonka themed. Our colors are going to be pink and purple. And so I got two of these gift wrap rolls. My fiance had stopped and got me another set of, or some pink ones also because I had a purple one or a couple purple ones. I've already used a whole purple one. So I needed to go ahead and get some more because I'm making so many candies with them. And so she got me the pink and the purple and they're the foil ones. So they're easier to wrap than actual like purple or pink paper. And I like how they're metallic so it actually looks like a candy wrapper. Because of course like I said it's Willy Wonka themed and... I actually had started making some because I'm making lollipop trees and apparently one of my spearmints broke off just now but that's okay it's hot glue it'll be fixed um actually let me go ahead and take one of these out also if you guys like want to want to uh, like the video for possible like how to's for stuff like that and our wedding's coming up we're doing a lot of like DIY stuff, craft stuff, a lot of stuff we're getting from the Dollar Tree. So if you like this video, like it, comment, and we'll do some uh, DIYs and different ideas that we're doing for the uh, the wedding as well. I did a DIY, or I did this one myself. It's a DIY uh, lollipop. I actually came up with the idea off of another woman had done one except hers were more like trees with different candies but I'm doing lollipops. Well on this one I added a bow and the foil around the back so it looks like it's kind of like purple lollipop with like candies on it. Um, the back I didn't do foil on because nobody's going to see that it's going to be up against the wall. And these are super easy to make, so if you like my video or comment on it, I can do a DIY if you have anything that you're wanting to do a decoration for. I have, I could do a DIY on how to make these. They're super simple, does, does not take any time at all. My next thing are these. Like I said, those are going to be lollipops. They're going to be stuck in styrofoam. Put in these, so just little metal, looks like flower pots. Um... I'm going to put some styrofoam in the bottom, put some candy around the top, and something heavy to keep them sturdy. I've got sticks to put in the lollipops, and these are going to be beside our buffet or whatever. And they're just going to be super cute. I can't wait to do these. I'm super excited about these. Yeah. And all these, all four of these came from the Dollar Tree. They were the last four that they had, I believe. Okay, so that's my Dollar Tree haul. That's, I hope you liked it, um, and if you like, comment, subscribe. I'll do a DIY on how to do the candy lollipops. Like I said, super simple and great for weddings or parties or anything. We, we can also start doing some reviews like on these, the little tumblers, you know, that sort of thing. Um, th this channel will probably be full of different things. Just comment below and let us know what you'd like to see and we'll get around to it. Thanks for watching my video and have a great day.